Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to update Windows XP with the unofficial Service Pack 4. That should update all of the Windows XP updates into one cumulative update. So instead of having to go through and update manually from Service Pack 3 up to the present, in which case I think the Windows servers aren't even online for Windows XP anymore, so you'd have to go through other means anyway. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the unofficial service pack 4 that was compiled by a website called Major Geeks. And I did make a tutorial about that very early on on this channel. It was one of the first videos, I think, on this channel was how to get Windows XP updates until 2019. And I believe that was actually one of the first tutorials that I made on this channel back in 2015. But regardless, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser of our choice, doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to have a link in the description of my video here, guys, to the Major Geeks webpage. You can just go ahead and just copy it into your browser here. So I'm going to select the Download Now button. And just make sure you don't click on any advertisements. And then go ahead and proceed with the downloader. It's about 1,000 megabytes, so just about a gigabyte in size here. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And depending on your internet speeds, it'll vary on how long it'll take to download. I have very quick internet, so it only takes less than 30 seconds or so to download. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up the folder that contains it and run the file and select Run. And here we go, it says Windows XP Service Pack 4. And they do recommend that before you install this update, we recommend you back up your system and close all open programs. Select Next, and then you want to agree to license terms and select Next again. And then you can archive the files if you choose to do so. I'm going to select Do Not Archive Files, and then I'm going to select Next. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and select Finish and restart your computer. I'd recommend not turning on automatic updates. There shouldn't really be any more automatic updates available for XP anyway. So I'm going to select Not Right Now, and I'm going to select Next. And that was pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.